here's an update on what's happening at the City of Lakeville. The City Council met this past Monday. Police Chief Long delivered the Quarterly Police Department Report. A public hearing was held and approved for the 2021 fee schedule. The required Truth in Taxation hearing was held and approved for the 2021 budget and tax levy. The Council approved the Ares Apartments proposal, which will be a 197-unit apartment building next to Fleet Farm. And finally, the Council discussed potential programs to assist local businesses impacted by the recent COVID-related closures. The next City Council meeting will be held on December 21st. Hi, I'm Fire Chief Mike Meyer. I want to talk a little bit about ice safety for this winter. I know everybody is really itching to get out on the ice. Uh, we've all been cooped up inside, but ice is not quite safe yet to be venturing out there. You want a minimum of four inches of ice before you walk out to do any ice fishing or activities on the ice. And anything above that, five inches of snowmobile, six inches, and so on. When you get to about 12 inches, you can drive on the lake. But Right now, the ice thickness on the lakes is about two to three inches, and that's not a safe environment for people to be on. Uh, and just a reminder, once it is safe to go out there, that you should always let somebody else know, hey, I'm gonna go out to Lake Marion, I'm gonna go out ice fishing, so that somebody knows where you are and when to expect you back in case something does happen. Hello, my name is Mary Peterson. I'm the forestry technician with the city of Lakeville. I'm here today to talk about elongated hemlock scale and invasive pests that could be found on Christmas trees and holiday greenery. Elongated hemlock scale is a small yellow-green insect found on the bottom sides of spruce and fir needles. It hasn't been established in Minnesota, but it poses a threat to our native conifer species. Do not toss trees or greenery into backyard woods or your compost piles. If you find it, report it to the Minnesota Department of Agriculture using the Arrest the Pest line. Hi, I'm Paula Leopold with Dakota County Environmental Resources. It hasn't snowed a lot yet this winter, but I'm pretty sure it will. And when it does, I'd like you to be prepared as a smart salter so that we can protect our waters from chloride pollution. Shovel first. The more snow and ice that you can remove manually means the less salt that you'll have to use. Salt helps melt ice and snow. A 12 ounce cup like this is enough salt to melt about 1,000 square feet. That's about 10 squares of sidewalk or about 20 feet of driveway. It works best when you can have the salt granules about three inches apart. When the temperature is 15 degrees Fahrenheit and below, salt doesn't work so well. So then you should use sand for traction. Sweep up any extra salt that you see on the sidewalk. It's when the pavement is dry, it isn't doing its work and it will just wash into the nearest water bodies. Salt dissolves in water and the chloride pollution is permanent. It's really hard to get salt out of water once it's there. With these salt tips, you'll be a smart salter this winter and help prevent chloride pollution. You can pick up these cups at the Lakeville City Hall, Monday through Friday, 8 to 4.30, while supplies last. If you would like any more information about these or other city-related items, visit the city's website at lakevillemn.gov or call 952-985-4400.